Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Once again I bring you messages from Holy Love Ministry, and this first one is dated December 6th, 2019. And it reads as follows, Once again I, Maureen, see a great flame that I've come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, the future of the world depends upon its discernment of truth versus Satan's lies. Stay close and devoted to my commandments. Do not trust any man who puts himself above my commandments. Such a one is Satan's instrument. You can certainly see in this farce called impeachment that Satan is distorting the facts and convoluting the truth in an attempt to gain power over your government. The reality is your president has and will use his power towards the advantage of the people. Do not be fooled to believe otherwise. If I did not reveal these truths to you, I would not be seeking your welfare. As it is, I am your loving Father, always protecting you from evil. End of message. We are led to read James 3, 13 to 18. Who is wise and understanding among you? By his good life, let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. But if you have a bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. This wisdom is not such as comes down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, devilish. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder and every vile practice. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, without in unsincerity or insincerity. And the harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. I have a second message for you, dated December 7th, 2019, and this is how it reads. The heart of God the Father says, these days, the heart of the world has become saturated with disordered self-love. This is evident in every walk of life. The affections of mankind have been taken away from love of me and neighbor to the love of materialism, technology, illicit use of drugs, the evils of tattoos and excessive body piercings, and even the love of human intellect itself. Sexuality has taken over as its own false god and is being used only for pleasure and not for the creation of life between husband and wife as I intended Human life is disrespected. I gave mankind my commandments as the rules of salvation. Satan has belittled them to such a degree that they are no longer a factor in human choices. Sin is not recognized as a barrier to salvation or as a transgression of my commandments. I speak here as a means of recapturing the heart of the world in my embrace. I love each soul more than any parent could possibly love his child. Receive my love and reciprocate loving me in return. Make an effort to please me through the choices you make. This is how you will be judged. We're led to read 2 Corinthians 5 to 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive good or evil according to what he has done in the body. 
Let us pray. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead us all, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Today was a special day, Monday, December 9th, at the Holy Love Ministry. It's not too late. I beg you now, please send your guardian angels there. Make up a six word prayer. Lord Jesus, please accept my guardian angel on my behalf so that they can receive your patriarchal blessing and bring it back to me. Please say that and he will do so. This is a very powerful blessing, the most powerful blessing perhaps we've ever known. And the next one will be given in the springtime. Take advantage of this now, tonight, right now. God bless you. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen.